action. Hi guys, it's me, Boo. And Dad. From Boo and Dad TV. Right. And today we're going to be reviewing C3PO and Luke Skywalker. Right. We have uh, an unboxing, of course. We have 3PO here from Revenge of the Sith. And we have a Star Wars. I'm not sure what line they called these. It just says Empire Strikes Back. It's about a mid 2000s figure. But this is the Bestman Luke, and it comes with the cool little um, hanging down tower thing that he fell to once he went down the shaft uh, that he had to grab onto before they could come pick him up in the Falcon. So this will be a real fun one to review, too. So Bestman Luke and Revenge of the Sith 3 p.m. So who are we opening first? Um, it's up to you. What do you think? Let's do 3 p.m. You do 3 p.m. I'll talk about Bestman Luke. Oh, yeah. Show the box off. Let me get a little closer. All right, so there's 3PO in the box. Looks like he comes with some kind of a cool stand. Um, I miss these kind of figures. I do love the vintage collection, but the stuff they used to do like in the mid-2000s with the little stands and the little accessory pieces they would throw in there, uh, a lot of that stuff was really cool. So I do kind of miss that because um, you don't get that with the new figures uh, too often. He did anymore. come with a stand, though. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you can see the stand in there. It's be very cool. And I believe that's the stand is going to be from Mustafa. Mustafa. Yes, because right before um, Anakin and Obi Wan had their epic duel, um, 3PO landed there with R2, and they actually came with Obi Wan and Padme, I think. All right, Boogs, you want to get him open? And then I'll talk a little bit more about Bespin Luke. Now, he also comes with a slashing lightsaber attack. Well, you know, a um, little different feature, I guess. Uh, of course, he's got his uh, detachable arm. It comes with the, um, uh, this is kind of like a medical bandage dressing um, after his little incident with uh, Darth Vader's lightsaber. Of course, it comes with his blue lightsaber. And this is going to be kind of like a suction cup type thing that you can actually mount maybe under a shelf or something and uh, have Luke hanging from it, which we'll probably try that on one of our shelves back there. That should be fun. Uh, hopefully, it'll mount good and we can uh, display him there. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, this kind of little stuff here I miss with the, with, with the pack ends with the way they used to do the action figures in the, <clears throat> you know, early 2000s, mid 2000s. So that always made them really cool. Now, if I turn around here. Where's the scissors? Uh, let's see. Good. Good question. Oh, wait. I think I see them. See them? Hiding behind the computer? Okay. So, um, and here's a few more examples of what I was talking about. They also, you could get, um... Uh, well, this one we have, the Best Ben Duel Luke. But then to go along with that, you have the Best Ben Duel Vader, which I also have this one somewhere. I just got, I'm sure it's in a box somewhere. I just got to dig it out. But um, yeah, these two scenes, you know, these two guys kind of together, or these two little scenes together is, is, is really cool. Um, I used to display those years and years ago. And then over here, we've got a um, Django Fett uh, final battle. So that would have been him... Uh, on uh probably on genosis i guess uh, is where he had his final battle so um that's a cool figure to have too and we've got a couple of those uh so anyway turn back here to the front while boog is steadily getting into 3po let's see how good he does with the car back on this one how's it going over there boog good you are working hard <laughs> right or hardly working um, uh, right. So, what have you thought about this wave of action figures? It's been really cool. You liked it? This, the series is, um, we do have a name for the series. It's called, um, Dad Keeps Doing Box for No Reason. <laughs> well, it wasn't for no reason, so you had a good time unboxing all these 15 year old yes, action figures. Yes, but Dad. You looked it all right with the card. Not too but bad. Dad, the, uh, the, well, we want the back part. That's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the back's really the main thing on this. I guess if you wanted to save it to look at, would be that part. Um, actually shows the figure. Here's the front. And, yeah, you have the little check sheet there, which is pretty cool. Here's the back. Yeah, let me take a look at that while you're. Getting 3PO up. Um, back there, yeah. And of course, even back in uh, the mid 2000s, they were making Galactic Heroes. This boog was really shocked by that. Uh, here's, and, and a couple of other cool figures that were in uh, the wave that come out with uh, with this movie here, The Revenge of the Sith. Um, wow, boog, look, yeah, that's the Grievous we wanted for lightsaber attack, Grievous. We were talking about that. We, oh no, we reviewed Grievous in a uh, 
earlier video, but the one we have was the two lightsaber attack. And I was well, like, they got to make another one somewhere. Only came with one lightsaber. You're right. Yeah, well, two arms, one lightsaber. All right, folks, here is 3PO. All right. Wow. You know, out of all these figures that we went over so far from this wave, the Revenge of the Sith ones that we have, this might be my favorite. I think because for whatever reason, and y'all may know know why, um, and I don't, but you don't see um, 3PO uh, in his true uh, gold, you know, shiny gold uh, paint anymore. Um, they use like a... I guess like a duller looking gold most of the time for the figures they do of him these days. But this is kind of the way Kenner did it back in the 80s. Uh, to me, this is the way 3PO should look. So this is actually a great 3PO figure. You can see here you get a little bit of a uh, little bit of Mustafar there uh, since he's from the Re Revenge of the Sith series. But he's got, I'll take him off here so I can look closer to you. But he's got his, of course, the wiring there. Uh, the detail on him is really good. There's the back. Only downside with this one is, uh, like, you know, they nailed the color. Uh, he has, you know, no articulation with this guy, obviously. Um, his limbs do, of course, come off like all 3PO's should. Just snap back in. Uh, the arm, yep, same thing. Pops out really easy. What about his head? Uh, the head. Let's try the head. Maybe, but not, not as easily. So I think it's just the limbs on him. But, yeah, I really like this 3PO a lot. So we're going to set him to the side there. Put him back on his stand. Oh, dear. How dreadful. And we'll even put his good buddy R2 here next to him. Because he was kind of with him in this scene. All right. Wow, this is yeah, really cool. Right. It sticks. Cool. So, yeah, it sticks to our box. But I'm going to unstick it so that I can show it to them. Because, uh, oh, no. We lost tip so this is the little antenna hangy downy thing that was um that luke ended up you know being able to catch on to so he didn't just fall out into into yeah. uh fall out, fall into, into death. the sky or the space there at cloud city um after their his duel with darth vader but it's really cool it looks a lot like it they got the details right and I just like these little pack-in things like this. This is just always fun and, and different. So I thought that was a really cool idea about Hasbro. And then, of course, this end is a suction cup. So just stick it underneath, you know, bottom of a shelf or something like that. And then hopefully we can kind of have Luke posed up here uh, like he's waiting on the Falcon to come and rescue him. Hey, look. Here's, here's the action. Oh, yeah. He does have a little action. Well, we didn't, but Dad, show off the other accessories. All right, this is going to be his uh, little medical device for his injured, well, his uh, severed hand. Chopped It'll go in there. Hand. Right, right. There's it the, did happen. And there's the hand. Yep. And then the gun. Yep, so you kind of get the removable hand. Luke, you want to put that in? Sure. He's got his blaster. And, of course... The famous lightsaber that belonged to his dad, Anakin. Yeah. Very nice. He's he's still a little injured. Look still a little injured. Yeah, he's still he's still wobbling a little bit. Yeah. Still now a lot a of people hurt. don't like. He's trying to hang in there. He's trying. He's trying. He's so he's so badly wounded he can't stand up. Finally. Yeah. He's got he's got articulation. Um, well, side to side articulation in his in his arms there. His knees do bend. Get you up close, I can see him. What I love is how good of a job the face scan is. Okay, it doesn't look exactly like him. Um, of course, like I said, this is about a 2005 or so figure. What does it say on the box? Boobs does it say when it was made. Um, but I do love the details with the outfit. Um, some of the newer ones I've seen. Um, by the time it got through with that battle with Vader, this outfit was dirty, filthy, and destroyed. And some of the, I, even the one I saw, I think, for the vintage collection, Bestman Luke, uh, I haven't gotten it yet, so I, I'm not for sure. But what I can see from pictures and videos people have done, uh, it didn't look like they quite did enough um, on uh, the, uh, you know, the, the damage of the, the outfit. But, of course, this one they did. It looks very, very similar to the, 
way he looked at the end of uh, that scene in the movie. So very cool. All right, so let's see if we can get him posed on his antenna. I kind of remember, like, I think he was kind of like, someone's hanging upside down there before the Falcon got there to get him. So kind of like this, I believe. Yeah, and he's I'm going, Leia, Leia. Wait a minute, um, we're kind of doing this a little wrong. What's up? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Boog's right. One small detail. Yeah, kind of holding his uh his arm there with the missing hand. Leia, Leia. And yeah, so you got, got it there. And he is desperately needing a rescue at this point. But pretty cool. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He can't hold both. Does he have like a little thing? He's got a holster. Okay, well, yeah. well, he went, well right, he had the gun in his holster. Yes. Would he, like, would he... Yeah, I think that's what it's for. Does it fit? I think so. Kind of, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of loose. He's holding on to his lightsaber for dear life. Well, it was actually after the battle with Darth, he lost the lightsaber because it was in the hand that got whacked. Ooh. And it wasn't found again until The Force Awakens when Maz gives it to Rey. And who knows how Maz got it. I never understood that part of it. Maybe he was down there when it fell. Maybe she was? And then I chopped, got that. And then chopped oh. her in half. <laughs> Did she find the hand too? Ew. Yeah. I okay. like that they didn't. They didn't. They actually. They didn't actually add like blood. Yeah, yeah. They didn't make it too graphic. No. Kept it pretty simple. Hasbro knows that they're making stuff for kids too. And as crazy adults who just like to still play. <laughs> right, Boog? Like dad. Uh oh, something fell. Yeah, that's good. So he's yeah. not gonna hold his gun in there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put it on the shelf here, um, behind behind us and kinda show you how we're gonna display it and we'll see if it works out. This might be a good idea for you guys at home. So can you can you retrieve the gun there, Boo? Sure. And I think he would look cool. Maybe oh you think right in there would be neat? Wait, why would he be in the Hoff um Battle of Hoff part? <laughs> well we don't really have a best in scene. But I wanted to get him where he's also in the camera. You're kinda blocking it. So can you slide over so they can see? One second, actually. Uh, we need to give him a little bit of the best because he's in the hot scene. Gotta give him, uh oh. Okay. We gotta give him a little bit of something to defend himself with in All the right. middle of the hot scene. <laughs> right, right. So here he goes, and we're gonna stick him on, our, on our shelf, just like that. And I think he'll look real good up there. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that at home or not. Uh, right there. There. Maybe not. But anyway, it's just an idea. So, everybody, take care. That's going to wrap it up for our uh, best Ben Luke from 2005. Our, he just oh, no, died. he failed. He, <laughs> died. he just died. <laughs> and our um, 3PO uh, from The Revenge of the Sith. Take care, everybody. Hit the okay, like button. Guys. Subscribe yeah. if you haven't already. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm still in Boog's line. Subscribe to Boogie and Dad TV for some more awesome toy fun. Bye. See you later.